Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Because sinning against an evil work is not executed speedily. Not well, because you ain't been judged yet. Just because you ain't been judged yet, this is your mindset right now. Read on. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So your mind is desperately to do evil. Your mind is set to do evil. Why? Because you ain't been judged yet. That's why the whole man can say, hey, I'm, I, I'm willing to die right now. Because the Lord ain't dropped You can disagree with God all day. But guess what? He's coming with anger and fury to judge this earth again. Meanwhile, you don't think that judgment could come at your doorstep. Why? Because you are desperately willing to do evil. Your mind is set to do evil. And your mind is set to do evil. Why? Because we've been talking. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Why? Because you ain't been through nothing yet. You ain't been jacked up yet. You ain't been jacked up yet. You think you're going to be robbing people all day? Guess what? You live by the sword. You will die by the sword. Even Christ said that. You live by the sword, you will die by the sword. But you don't believe that because you ain't died yet. Death ain't not a, knocked at your doorstep yet. Now I got quiet out here. Now I have your attention. Listen up, people talk. Because sinning against an evil work is not executed speedily. Why? Because you ain't been judged yet. Just because you ain't been judged yet, this is your mindset right now. Read on. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So your mind is desperately to do evil. Your mind is set to do evil. Why? Because you ain't been judged yet. That's why the old man can say, hey, I'm, I, I'm willing to die right now. Because the Lord ain't dropped, not him dropped dead yet. I bet if someone next to him was to drop dead next to him, he would change that statement. Right. The Lord don't want you to, to die. Romans 6 and 32. He don't want you to die, he wants you to live. What's going to allow us to live? What's going to be able? What's going to allow us to be able to be delivered from thermal nuclear warfare? So don't give a damn if you can hide in your basement. The nukes will still get you. No matter if you drive here to New York, you're not going to drive faster than an atomic bomb. The devastation is of a nuclear bomb is miles and miles. Me? The book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of what? Of sin is death. So the payment for your sins is death. But your mind is death, desperately willing to do evil. Why? Because you ain't been judged yet. You ain't been put to death yet. But there is a payment for your sin. And the payment for your sin is death. Right? But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But if you want to get life, if you want to live. Right now, there's judgment right now. Don't worry, here will be another one grand past in the next few minutes. But your mind is desperate to do evil because your ass ain't in the back of that thing. You're not being taken to the, to the, uh, to the urgent care. To the trauma unit. 
But once you take it to the trauma unit, you will recapture your statement. But guess what? The gift of God is eternal life. God wants us all to live. But what's going to cause us to live? What's going to give us eternal life? Let's get Proverbs 7 and 2. For we know that the wages of sin is death. So if you continue to commit sin, you're guaranteed to die. Your death might come to date. It might come next week. Or it might come when the nukes hit America. Proverbs 7 and 2. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7 and verse 2. Oh. Keep my commandments and live. And my law as the apple of thine eye. Read it from the top. Keep my commandments and live. So if you want to get eternal life, we have to keep God's commandments. Hey, my sisters across the street, I know I'm speaking loud, right? I want everybody to hear me, right? I'm going to let this bus pass. Do you want to live? Do you want eternal life? Do you want salvation? Before you get on the bus, ask yourself, do you want salvation? How do we get salvation? Let's get that in Matthew 19. Because that's the number one question. I would say that's the number one question in the back of all of our minds. But we tend to forget about the question that's in the back of our minds because we want to do evil. Because we ain't been judged yet. Hey, my sister with the old black card. Do you want to get eternal life? Okay, we're going to find out then. How do we get eternal life? Hey, my brother with the great brother, how you doing? Do you want to get eternal life? Do you want to receive salvation? Hey, don't, don't, don't let the, the, the loud speakerphone interfere. I'm speaking in this tone so everyone can hear me. Before you get in the car, do you want to receive salvation? There we go. Who wants to receive salvation? Hey, my brother, as you walk the, the street right here, as you cross the street, I'm going to ask you, do you want salvation? Let's read that, Matthew 19. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this is a question. What good things shall we do? Hey, come over here, my brother. I want to ask a question. My, my, my elder. Can I talk to you for a second with the hat? Okay, my brother with the hood on. How do we get salvation? What must we do? What must we do? What must we do to get salvation? Read. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is, God. If thou wilt enter into life. But, if you want to enter into life, if you want to live eternal life, if you want to receive salvation, what must you do? Come on. But, if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Keep the what? The commandments. Again, we got to keep God's commandments. As we read earlier, keep my commandments and live. Don't keep my commandments and die. Nation is men leading by example.